Hello everybody, welcome to Nature Calls. Anthony here and here's a little update slash, you know, an idea or uh, at least my experience with the Tesla solar roof as it comes to what can I charge and run while still having my meter spin backwards. Now, if you watch my build series, uh, this is about a 10.5 kilowatt solar roof and currently we are still waiting on the power walls and we're waiting for the app to be fixed for us because there is an app issue, at least on our end, the consumer's end. Tesla's end, they see everything fine, but uh, we're kind of in this uh, weird, I don't know, middle area here where we're trying to get the power walls, but we have to wait for the app to finish. But meanwhile, I really want to give you guys an idea on what uh, kind of power this produces. So currently, uh, you can see it is a beautiful, sunny, uh, early September day here in New Jersey. Uh, what am I running that this meter is spinning backwards? Well, the house itself has the air conditioning on currently. Um, it's sitting about 72 degrees. So nice and cold. Uh, the outside temperature here is currently uh, 80 degrees. So, bit of a difference, uh, you know, via the, the two temperatures. So the house is definitely having to run the AC more, but uh, the meter is still spinning backwards, which is good. As we continue up here, you can see that, uh, well, I have a lot of plants, uh, but besides that, <laughs> you can see, oh, look at this beautiful pool. Ah, uh, this beautiful pool runs on a giant pump and filtration system because, well, it's, it's a pool. And that runs all day long, as you can see, churning out the water here. Well, that takes a lot of electricity. It takes a surprising amount of electricity. And, well, that's running at the same time the air conditioning's running and my meter's still running backwards. Uh, now, inside my house, we also have things like uh, a giant editing computer. Um, that's running on a 1200 watt power supply and we're using like a thousand of those watts and that thing runs like 24 7 so that's sucking up a ton of energy we also have several laptops and a couple other computers not on all the time but they are additional uh, but that computer is currently running and rendering videos and things like that. But before we turn around, we also have appliances running. Remember, I got, you know, a refrigerator just like everybody else. Um, and that has to stay cool. Uh, now, my stove and such doesn't run on uh, electric. The stove and the heat run on gas. But I have a well. And the well runs on a 220 uh, volt... Uh, you know, water pump, it's got to pump that water out of the ground to supply water to this house. So we have to pay for the electric for that. Um, as we start turning around here and we go to the garage, oh, we have the Model Y. What is the Model Y currently doing in this video? <laughs> the Model Y is charging because since the sun is out, it might as well get its battery charged. But what is my, uh, you know, what's, what's the power doing? The meter is still spinning backwards uh, but there's more there is more yes here is a fridge from uh, pre turn of the century and uh, yes it's a very old fridge but it works freezer on top fridge on the bottom and then there's another freezer next to it and we have another tiny freezer on top all of those are running at the same time that the car is being charged and the pool over there is being ran and the refrigerator and the editing computer and you, you get where I'm going with this. Now I don't have the numbers to tell you but um, so far I'm really impressed with the output of this. It handles it with I guess relative ease. Alright so there's a look at uh, you know what my solar roof can actually support. Uh, it supports all this all at the same time. Yes, I know we're in September, so the sun angle and stuff is pretty awesome, but it does this really well even on partially cloudy days. So I'm going to be really interested to see on how well it supports all of this in the winter. Granted, we're not going to run the air conditioning in the winter, so there's, there's one thing gone. And our heater actually gets supplemented for... Oh, where's it at? Ah, you see that chimney? Ah, that is a fireplace. So there's basically no heating bill 
in the winter because the fireplace keeps us nice and toasty warm. And besides that, we get a lot of, you know, solar, you know, sun heat coming in through the windows and stuff that also keeps the house warm during the daytime. So you're really only running the fireplace at night. So I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on here. Uh, once Tesla gets around to actually fixing the app for us and then allows us to get uh, the power walls because it sounds like the app having an issue and the information not being displayed correctly on it is what's holding us up from getting the power walls. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. Everything else has been running great, but that has been, uh, uh, I guess, the next hurdle in uh, you know this quest of of getting the the Tesla trifecta uh, fully installed and set up here. But I'll keep you updated. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and as always, have an excellent day.